A person is a person because of another person. I have to tell you what I told you about. The Afrocentric epistemological approach to living that is, yeah, it really, really is. And it's rooted, this is so exciting to me because you're right, it's rooted in those proverbs and things that motivate generation after generation that pass through. I often get so angry with uh, the missionaries from Europe. The, when the missionaries got there, they did not find, find they did not go in there to find similarities in our living as yeah. people. They saw differences. They saw the color. They saw the broad nose. They saw the 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 the, term, the type of dress that we had that was not like theirs. Because we were black, we were not like them. They didn't even see that we were human beings with legs and feet. We were very much like them in many ways. Mm -hmm. But they went down to find points of differences. Mm -hmm. And look how today now the world is again coming back through art to embrace those differences and to bring them together and to try and make human culture. We must start small grassroots activities and not our small networks. Yeah. It's the networks, it's the community networks community. that I think are so one. That's what I think is the best possible thing. And you really have to believe them and you have to see them happening. They're happening here.